don't know about you guys, but Nock has become my most recent virtual obsession, so naturally I feel the need to swoon over some pixels for the next 5-10 to 10 minutes. Like seriously, of all the incredible, expansive, mind-altering experiences I could be playing in VR, I've spent the last 48 hours completely infatuated with- <laughs> I can't be too loud, I'm gonna get yelled at, but <laughs> Knock is one of the only games I've played on my Oculus, meta, fucking stupid Quest 2, that actually felt somewhat sport-like. It's essentially just Rocket League with a bow and arrow, or Griff Ball for anyone out there of culture. I'm gonna like Rocket League? <laughs> you guys wanna forget about our Lord and Savior Griff Ball, that's fine, but don't do it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Which, if we're being honest with ourselves, is a game that I think could really only work in VR. Don't get me wrong, I love using bows in flat screen games. Like Skyrim, Legend of Zelda, Crisis, Tomb Raider, even fucking Hanzo from Overwatch, just to name a few. All of the games that I just mentioned have stellar bow mechanics. But it's just something about lining up your shot on a moving target with your own two hands and feeling the arrow loose through the bow and fly across the map and make it just in time to either block or score before your opponent can even put his grubby little tentacles on his bowstring is just... Mwah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring that over here. No, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're super good at using blocks and I'm scared of that. Uh, I'm trying, but I'm not that good. Excuse me? You I mean, are, I'm only silver too. And then <laughs> so. replay that moment where you <laughs> saved it with a block. I'm trying. Oh, no! No, that's a weasel! <laughs> Who's that Pokemon? No! No, that's a weasel! Did you? Did you? Domino's? Domino's Pizza? God damn, you got a big ass. <laughs> Uh, before anyone asks, I have played other VR bow games. Um, I've played Apex Construct, In Death Unchained, High Bow, friggin' Rec Room, if that counts. All of the bow mechanics in those games felt great, but they all fall flat in one aspect or another. Whether it be movement, arrow draw, multiplayer, or rather a lack of meaningful multiplayer. Knock, on the other hand, completely shattered my expectations with its movement options, fluid bow mechanics, quick and semi-reliable matchmaking, and honestly, it's community. Uh-oh. Let's go. Come on! Okay, you lucky bastard. <laughs> okay, Domino. Okay. <laughs> you think I'm done with you? Yes. <laughs> you better not think that! <laughs> you hit it right before- Yo, I'm like, my body, I, it's like in three dimensions. Hold on. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, like, when you go into the wall, you yeah. can see your body. Oh yeah, you're going to like third person? Yeah, and it's kind of annoying. <laughs> it's not fourth game plan, I'm not that good. Oh, you're okay, good. It's like my fifth game. <laughs> yeah, same here, bruh. Granted, you definitely get some silent weirdos in some games, and in other games you get, you know, toxic gamer rage, but that's to be expected in any competitive environment. Why my screen fogging up like this? The breathing so fucking loud and hard. That's not me, dog. Uh, no, no, no. That's probably that guy that's me. No, 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 that guy, no, the guy that's saying it's fogging up just stop breathing so fucking loud and hard. I am the one saying it's fogging up, but I can also hear the breathing, so I know it's not me. <laughs> he's, he's fogging up just because of the sound of his fucking breath. Man, I think you're deaf. <laughs> I know I'm deaf. I'm just it fucking concentrating, and I don't have any common sense right now. Oh my god, bitch! You bitch! <laughs> you eat dick for a living, you motherfucker. I know. Shut up. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! That guy was toxic anyways, I'm happy left. I do gotta say, there are a few issues I have with the game, but most of them stem from the fact that the tutorial seems to be missing key aspects of gameplay. I personally had some issues my first few games because of this. Plus, 
literally every other game, I get a person who has zero idea what to do or how to play, so it just turns into a five minute practice session, or it's just a silent newbie who quits after I score three goals. So that would probably be my biggest gripe to the devs. Uh, make the tutorial better, please, for everyone's sake. Uh, it sounded like you were out. You gotta make sure you pick up arrows. You only start with one. Oh, how the fuck do I pick up arrows? It's the, the green things. You just like roll over them. Oh. So I did not realize that. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, are you quitting? Sheesh. Don't quit, my guy. You gotta play to get better. Ed, you shoot. I'll just I'll just play defense. I won't even try to score. No? You shouldn't sit there? Yeah, well. I wanted a full round, you dick! Thankfully, this doesn't take away from the core experience of Nock. There are still plenty of people who actually understand the mechanics, and when you do find them, it's always a great time. I'd be lying if I said my left shoulder isn't killing me as I type this, and that is a true testament to how much fun this game can be. Rounds are only 5 minutes long, and yet I find myself playing for 1-2 to two hours, even if I only intended to play a couple rounds. What a block, dude. Holy crap. I'm really unlucky with the system here. Big sad. What nope. the heck? <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> the blocks are so annoying! I know. <laughs> I know. So I just wanted to give some quick tips and tricks from your fellow neighborhood Silver 2, just in case, you know, just uh, for anyone out there who's having a hard time ranking up or just getting wins in general, because I, I have come across a lot of people who join the game, they get scored against twice and they just leave, and that's no fun for anybody, so hopefully these tips help you guys out. Timing is pretty much everything, especially for the first hit. If you fuck up your timing on your first shot right as the game is starting, you essentially just give your opponent the goal. If you have trouble timing the first shot of the match, just kind of hang back by your own goal and defend until you can push back towards their goal. Believe me, if you're just sitting at your goal post, you are in a much better strategically advantageous position than the idiot who flew up to the ball really quick and missed his second shot and is now floating with no arrows. Oh, uh -oh. oh shit. I need I arrows so bad. Speaking of arrows, tip number three, pick them up. Even if you think you have two or three, just make it a habit to roll over them as often as possible. You will thank me later. This next tip is kind of difficult, but try your best to learn the timing for hitting the ball with a block almost every time. It'll help you get more comfortable with the distance and timing needed to get crazy last second saves. Leading shots can also be really difficult to wrap your head around at first, but with enough practice, it should become like second nature. Like, as soon as your arrow hits the ball, like, train yourself to get good at that timing. And then, oh. like, you can train yourself to get good at it, like, right as it passes the ball. And then, like, that's really good for blocking it. So you just, like... You just like, uh, I, don't, I don't really know how to explain it. I play a lot of bow games, so it comes kind of naturally. Now, this last tip may seem like the simplest one, but make sure you hit the ball as often as you can. Not only do you get an arrow back if you hit the ball, but if you're within range and you have arrows, you should always be hitting it, not only to try and score, but also because if you're constantly changing the direction and speed of the ball, it makes it that much harder for your opponent to hit. Plus, it'll help you increase your overall accuracy like I mentioned before with the whole timing your blocks thing. But yeah, those are just my five little dumb tips from a Silver 2 who can't get to Silver 3. <laughs> I hope that helped. I really think all of these traits combined are eventually going to push Nock to become a serious competitive esport. One, mind you, that requires actual physical endurance and precise real-life movements, the likes of which I think we have yet to see. But let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. I'm really curious to see if you guys feel the same way. Let me know how you're enjoying the game or if you're not enjoying it. Uh, I got some more videos in the works for you guys. I just had to make something about Nock because it's so much fun. I'm definitely going to be playing more of it in the future, but until then, I hope you guys enjoyed the vid. Leave a like if you liked it. If you didn't, leave a comment and let me know why. But, uh, until then, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. The donkeys. <laughs> Got a donkey donk, bro. Shee. Oh my gosh. Shee. 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 <laughs> hey, turn around, turn around for me, turn around. Turn, turn around, shee. turn around. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, hey, hold on, hold on. Hey, before hey. before y'all re hey, before y'all re let's start the wave.
I mean, I'm only silver too. And then so. replay that moment where you <laughs> saved it with a block. I mean, I am recording, so I can replay. <laughs> See? See what I mean? You hit it in with a block on my screen. Oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Call me red-handed. Hits it in with a block.